Hey, how's everybody doing today? My name is Ricardo Cordu, and I want to welcome you to day number 19 of the Walk With Me Challenge. And so you ask, Ricardo, what is the Walk With Me Challenge? Uh, basically, I've been coming on for 21 days straight, basically. I'm committed to walking or working out for 30 minutes a day. And through that journey, I've been kind of coming on, dropping some nuggets with the hopes that something that I say will allow you or align with you to help you get to your next steps in development in your life. And so we've been on this kick about what successful people do uh, to keep growing. And um, so uh, you see, I'm in a special place today. So I'm in Can I, I am in Canada, in Vancouver, but I'm sitting in, they have a, a sauna here and, you know, I'm over here sweating and um it's kind of dark but i have a little bit of light and so uh the reason why i want to come on here today while i was in here is because um i just want to let you know that it's not gonna look pretty um a lot of times uh successful people are in hot places that are uncomfortable and there's not much light but this is a glimmer of light uh, that glimmer of light is your faith. That glimmer of light is God. That glimmer of light is um, your imagination. That glimmer of life is your hope, right? And what most successful people do great is to find a way for the light not to dim. Uh, a lot of people crash, they crumble because they let their light dim, right? And so even though it might be a hot and uncomfortable situation in your life, what you're facing, right? If you can keep the light, some type of light in front of you, uh, just so you can have the direction on where you need to be going, even when it seems like you're going, it seems like it's a waste of time. Right. But you get up anyways and you still keep doing, you still keep going, you still keep grinding. Right. Like this is what makes successful people come out. And so I like the analogy where they talk about uh, the diamond. Right. And uh, how it starts with the coal and extreme pressure comes. Extreme pressure comes, hotness, until all of a sudden a diamond comes out of the mist. And that's what your journey is going to look like, y'all. I promise you it's going to look like that because it's going to be a little bit of light. It's going to be a little darkness. But that darkness is there to purify you, right? That light, that glimmer of light will keep you going forward. And as you go through, I just want to let you know that it's worth every step of the way. Why is that? Because your dreams are made in this in this mindset, in this thought process. Uh, your creativity comes out, uh, your hope, your belief. So uh, as you can see, uh, we got cut off. You know, sometimes when you're in hot situations, when you're in places that are uncomfortable, sometimes you can't capture everything. But, you know, when you come out and you, you're building and, and, and people see uh, your work, uh, your commitment, uh, your hard work. Um, you have to, as a leader, see, um, this is where you deal with uh, the criticism. Uh, this is when you get picked apart. Uh, but it's okay because sometimes it'll put you into that dark place. But as long as you have a light at the end of the tunnel, as long as you see the light of what the impact of what you're doing uh, is going to do over time. Like that's the big picture, right? So you keeping that light uh, you being able to uh, transition, uh, develop, create, modify, and build as you go. Uh, some people talk about building a plane um, as you're in the air, building as you go. Uh, there's time periods in your business where you're going to have to do that. There's time periods in your life where you're going to have to do that. Uh, I was thinking about um, about you know being exposed to new things, and so we talked about exposure yesterday too about being exposed. Like this is my first time in, in Vancouver, Canada. And so believe much bigger, much sooner. Uh, but to also be able to understand uh, that, you know, as you're, you have to be okay learning why you're growing, learning why you're going, learning why you're doing. Because sometimes there's going to be new information that you're going to get uh, given while you're building, while you're growing, while you're developing, while you're training. And the mindfulness that you know you have to learn it but you still don't stop and not do it, uh, that allows you to set your part off, set yourself apart from uh, the competition. Um, anybody who is trying to uh, uh, do whatever you're doing, it's gonna set you apart because you're willing to go and do, even though you don't know the information all the way, but as long as you're conscious and you're taking time to develop and you're submerging yourself in the information to learn, you will grow and outdo things 
in lifetime in, in record breaking time. And so um, this is day number 19 of the Walk With Me Challenge. It got a little bit broken up, excuse me, but you know, when you get in hot areas, hot situations, and it's only you where you're trying to focus, you're trying to do, you're being diligent, you're being bold, you're being courageous, uh, then what you do next is what brings you out into the light. And so um, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Tomorrow I got something special because I'm, I'm in Vancouver, but what I wanna do is I want to you know, show you some things that you can do um, in your secret place to allow yourself uh, to build yourself up for confidence and courage, okay? But I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Time's up, time's up, time's up Better make your mind up Jesus loves you in a little